right now? Uh, all right. <laughs> no one? All right, let's do this. Can I fix his hood real quick? Really quickly. Super, super quick. In my head, I saw like the cut being from him kind of leaving frame in the fight and then cutting to this clean. Yeah. And maybe he steps in and dirties the frame like the like last, right. last one. I'm going for a lock of us. I am in front of set right now. I'm going to wear my hood. Well, like, you know, because when I go out, I cover. But what moment is this? Because it's had it on when you were here before anyway. Yeah, this, this is much later in the film. Yeah, no, I know. This is after what just happened. <laughs> this is after what just happened with those motherfuckers. Oh, then I actually think I shouldn't wear it. Well, I tell you why I like that because. Uh, you, why are you like not wearing it? Yeah. I'll be so impressed <laughs> if you don't turn around on this. <laughs> like, yeah, we're turning around. But no one's gonna know who this guy yeah, is. Yeah, who is this? <laughs> we haven't seen <laughs> that jacket this or your profile. The movie. Shut up, Leo. <laughs> you enter camera right, you exit camera left. Yeah. All right, let's roll sound. Rolling, rolling. You, their girls are going to? Yep. And action. Uh, exit frame. Nice. We cut! We can do that faster. I think Back they threw to you one. off. Take three. Yeah, and action. No, it's, it's okay, Pauline. You know she hates it when you do that. I need Thebane. Thebane. Thebane is a precursor to morphine and codeine. What are you, are you planning on getting in the heroin business? This is the character of Dr. Raymond Parks, and uh, he is sort of a a mentor for the uh, for the lead character in the play, who has a rare disease, and the disease is such that this kid can't feel pain. And uh, I have been seeing him as his clinical doctor. I have been a scientist. I've had a background that uh, is somewhat questionable. That he's been hiding a little bit, uh, but at the same time he is trying to uh, kind of forward this young man into the right direction in his life. Henry. I need stem cells. I'm with a patient. If I can find a way to convert them to nociceptors. You can't just barge in here like this. You have gout. It's acute inflammatory arthritis at the base of your big toe. Take some Diclofenac. Stop eating foods with such high levels of purines. You know, I've worked on a lot of network stuff. I've worked on a lot of films, some big budget stuff. Uh, and the, uh, the commitment here is as high as anything I have worked with. And there have been a few hiccups, as there always are a few hiccups. But these, uh, and it's a young group of kids uh, that are handling this uh, this project and I think they're doing a fabulous job. Uh, it certainly uh, is equal to most of the stuff that I've ever I've ever worked on. Let's say I go with that one now. Um, really profound disappointment and then shifting to repressed anger. Okay. Can we work with that? We can chat that, yeah. Okay. You can go as you please basically. Right. Uh, but didn't there need to be one more it? line where you say something like, you know, what well, gives you the right to be so selfish? You come in here, you steal this, you lose, you know. I don't know. It just, I just still feel like it's a jump going to you wanted me to steal it. Like you were already figuring out when you say us, and he's just continuing to right. stop. But yeah. you, you're not really listening to him because yeah. you're already figuring him out. Yeah. You see where that? You see where that plug is over there? Uh, yes. On the right about there. That first one? No, no, not this the one. Second here, one. The one down there. Yeah, the one right near just the door. Just before you get to that player. Okay. I'm rolling camera. Action. You want to do uh, one? Yeah, let's do one with the hood. Okay, and a walk back with the hood? Sure, might as well. Hello, Henry. I'm so glad you could make it. Please, come. Focus has been on that? Yeah. That's cut. No. I could try one where I kind of... Hello. 
<laughs> I'm so glad you could make it. That's it. We're done. Cut. 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 He's done. We're done. All right, that We're is all a wrap on Pascal. Guys, can we, can we just have quiet on the set for a minute, please? Oh, yeah, sorry. So what we have is a huge pot that we customized. Um, we took a bunch of clear tubing, about 20 feet worth, and we drilled holes in it throughout it, secured it to the bottom, hooked up to an air compressor here, so that what's going to happen essentially is a lot of air bubbles are just going to come up and give me a super boil like, uh, like this. It's magic right there. See that? We have an actor who uh, actually has to be able to stick his hand in this live. And we, we, we don't want to lose any of this effect. So we can't have it actually burn him. So when he goes to put his hand in here, he can hold it in there and it feels just really nice and cool and refreshing. More movie magic. And then pull it out as you need and stop. I'm like a witch. I'm like Harry Potter in this stuff. So what we're doing is first just placing because we a real cast is a chemical reaction. It's it's they put on two materials and it heats and 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 sets itself. Um, we're not going to do that because it's very constricting and it, I don't have a saw to take it off of them. So we're going to cheat, build up the height of it with this. Uh, double layered rag on him. We'll have that going over here. And then we're just gonna take some of this gypsum bandage and we're gonna dip this in water, wring it out, lay it around, lay it around, lay it around, keep doing that until you have a cast on. Robert, Story. why do we need to put a cast on you? Um, because I broke my wrist falling off of the swings at the playground. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> Not the first injury you've had. <laughs> it's like paper mache. It's it's yeah. the same concept, really. It's exactly what it is. Is this your first broken bone? Yep. One you've second. never you've never broken anything in your life. Nope. <laughs> you just have to imagine what it feels like. Yeah. <laughs>